Inside every single cell in your body, there's a library, like the one in the Peabody Conservatory. And within it, it contains all the information and instructions necessary to take you from a cell smaller than the width of your hair to the full-fledged human being you are today. Aisles and aisles and aisles of books on how to make you, you. This library is called your DNA. Now, despite every single cell in your body having the exact same set of books, they're capable of adopting an incredibly diverse repertoire of functions and identities, like your muscle cells, which enable you to move when Netflix has the audacity to ask you if you're still watching The Office after six hours. Those are very different from your brain cells, which now arrest you with a sense of guilt for having spent so much time idly. Now, the way that your cells are capable of ado adopting such specialized functions lie in their ability to be very precise in the books that they use. You don't want a brain cell using a muscle cell's books and vice versa. That's why when you get disarray in the library's organization, as you see here, this can often lead to an identity crisis. And this is associated with cancer. Now, scientists spend a lot of time reading and rewriting books in the library, trying to understand how misprints and different editions of books can contribute to the development of disease. This could be called the field of genetics, what the books say. But looking at how the library is organized, what books are being used, and what areas of the library are accessible, as well as how well the librarians are performing to maintain all of this, could be called the field of epigenetics. In my lab, we're very interested in understanding how genetics, what the books say, and epigenetics how the libraries organized contribute in forming and shaping cell identity in diseases like cancer. For my thesis, I'm going to be looking at a specific cancer called acute myeloid leukemia, which is the most common adult cancer, blood cancer. Different. Um, this cancer is specifically characterized by having malfunctioning librarians. Therefore, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take blood samples from patients of acute myeloid leukemia, and I'm going to look at something called DNA methylation which is a, a chemical modification made directly to DNA, which informs the cell on which parts of the library to use and which ones not to. Then, using a mathematical model that we've developed in our lab, we can calculate something called DNA methylation entropy, which is a metric for which parts of the library are in disarray. We hope that with this understanding, we can better improve how, how acute myeloid leukemia progresses and develops as well as design better therapies that could potentially target and galvanize and improve the performance of these malfunctioning librarians. From the single microscopic libraries in our cells to us as individuals, it pays to be organized. Thank you.